Well, hey there, and welcome to the first video on this nine-week series on Revelation, Understanding Revelation. My hope is that you can read the book of Revelation for yourself, you can explore its meaning, and you can find God speaking to you profoundly through this book of the Bible. This week is all about introductions and overview, and this is one of the most important things in understanding any passage of Scripture. That is looking at it within its context. So the goal this week is to explore what is our understanding of Revelation, what are we bringing to the table, and then also what is the background and context of the book of the Bible itself. So for that first part, exploring your kind of what you're bringing to the table, I encourage you to go ahead and just make a list. So write out everything you know, you assume, you think about the book of Revelation. If you have a feeling associated, if you feel um, excited about the ideas of Revelation, if you feel nervous, if you feel concerned, any of those things, you know, write that down. These are going to be your assumptions, the things that before you even start reading, you think are true. Maybe there's a lot on this list, or maybe there's a little. But either way, this is what you're bringing to the table. The second thing I would invite you to do is to start looking at the context of Revelation and see if this even challenges some of the things on your list, on your assumptions. For this, I would invite you to read an introduction to Revelation in a study Bible or commentary. So if you have a study Bible, just open that up to the book of Revelation, and right at the beginning, you're going to find an introduction. It's going to have information about the author, about when it was written, about the purpose of the book, that kind of stuff. And read that through carefully and see what it says. If you have a commentary series or a standalone commentary on Revelation, you could read the introduction there as well. It's going to be a bit longer than a study Bible will, though. So maybe prepare a few more minutes for that. Go ahead and read it carefully and see what you can find out about the book of Revelation. And then the last thing I would um, ask you to do this week is to answer this question. Did anything in this introduction that I read challenge any of my assumptions or give me a new perspective or idea about Revelation? So as you are reading this introduction, did it change how you see the book at all? Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Either way is fine, but go ahead and just consider that. And those are the three things that I invite you to do this week to get ready. We're going to be diving in next week into Revelation chapter 1, 2, and 3. But for now, just start by an overview of the book to find its context. I'm going to be doing this on Wednesday if you want to join me for that process. So I'll be doing that just live right here on my video, walking through. You can see it on the screen, what I'm reading. You know, kind of I'll take notes or highlight different elements that stand out to me. So if you want to kind of study with me, you're welcome to do that in the next video I release. And then my next video after that is going to be an in-depth study on the book of Revelation as a whole, sharing some information about the genre, the context, the authorship, and maybe supplementing some of what you've read, maybe bringing some of that all together, and that'll be on Friday. So looking forward to it. See you Wednesday for study with me and Friday for in-depth study as we begin to study the book of Revelation.